this last section, we're going to look at power. So there's a couple examples of power. So power is how fast work is done. So you're going to be taking your work and looking at the time that it takes to do that work. So your equation will be power is work divided by the change in time. And so since work is force times distance, we could also say that force times distance over time equals power. Either one's acceptable. And since we know that distance over time, which we can see in this equation, is velocity, we could say that force times velocity gives us power as well. And then if you're writing down these equations, I would probably definitely write this one. Let's see if it's gonna let me write now. Maybe this one and then this, this, and all of these. The unit for power is the watt. So you might have heard of watts before in terms of like light bulbs. So is it a 40 watt light bulb? That is the power. So just a couple example problems. Here we have a 450 Newton boy. So that's the force because Newtons are force. He's climbing steps and they are a length or our distance of three meters. And it takes him 10, or I'm sorry, six seconds to do this. So we're simply going to solve for the power by doing force times distance, which is three over our time of six. So if we plug that in, that's gonna give us 450 times three divided by six, 225 watts. And then one last problem. An elevator must lift a thousand kilograms a distance of 100 meters at a velocity of four meters per second. What's the average power the elevator exerts during the trip. So we said we've got a mass of a thousand kilograms. We know a distance of a hundred meters. Velocity is four meters per second. We're looking for power. We can find our force because that's going to be the weight. So 9.8 times 1,000 is going to give us a force. Of 9,800 Newtons. So a lot of this is going to be extra. We said that power is simply force times velocity. So we can do our 9,800 newtons times our velocity of four. And that's gonna give us a power of 39,200 watts. And that's it for power.